Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should always back up your data to prevent data loss. You must be in single user mode to do this. QuickBooks recommends you back up your files daily. That way, if the data in your company file becomes corrupted or lost, you can restore a copy of the file from a backup. To make your company file current again after restoring the file, you need to re-enter all transactions from the date you created the backup file to the current date. However, that is far less work than recreating the entire company file again. QuickBooks gives you the option to create both local and online backup copies of your company file. The online option lets you create backup copies of your company file on Intuit servers. Alternately, you can create local backup copies within the software and simply store them off-site for added security if desired. To create a local backup copy of the currently opened company file in QuickBooks, Select File, Backup Company, Create Local Backup from the menu bar to open the Create Backup window. The Option button for Local Backup should already be selected within the initial screen. To open the Backup Options window so you can change the backup options, click the Options button at the bottom of the screen. In the Local Backup Only section, enter the pathway or folder directory within which to store the backup copy. To visually select the location into which to save the backup copy, click the adjacent Browse button to open a Browse for Folder dialog box and use it to select the folder location. After selecting the folder or drive into which to save the backup copy in the Browse for Folder dialog box, click the OK button to close the dialog box. Your selection then appears in the Tell us where to save your backup copies required field. To set additional backup options that only apply to local backups, check or uncheck either of the two checkbox options shown in the Local Backup Only section of the window to apply or ignore them. To add the date and time to the backup file name, check the Add the date and time of the backup to the file name recommended checkbox. To limit the number of backup copies within the selected folder to a number that you enter, check the Limit the number of backup copies in this folder to number checkbox, and then type the number to which to limit the backup copies into the adjacent field. To set additional backup options that apply to both online and local backups, check or uncheck the checkbox option and select a backup verification method in the online and local backup section. To remind QuickBooks to backup a company after you open and close a company file a specified number of times, Check the Remind Me to Back Up When I Close My Company File Every Number Times checkbox and then enter the number of times into the adjacent field. To select which type of data verification to perform on the information in the backup copy you create, select a choice from the Select an option to verify that your company data is OK, that is, not corrupted, when you save section. To close the window and return to the Create Backup window after making your choices in the Backup Options window, click the OK button. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, choose when to create the local backup copy. To create a local backup copy immediately, select the Save It Now option button. Alternatively, to save a copy right now and also set a schedule for future backup times, Choose the Save It Now and Schedule Future Backups option button. Alternatively, to only schedule future backups, choose the Only Schedule Future Backups option button. After making your selection, click the Next button to continue. If saving a local backup copy right now, then QuickBooks opens the Save Backup Copy dialog box where you can change the file name or destination folder of the backup copy if desired. It defaults to saving into the folder you selected earlier in the Backup Options window. To create the local backup copy, click the Save button. After QuickBooks creates the local backup copy, it shows a small message box informing you of its success. Click the OK button to dismiss the message box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.